Nothing was more important to me as the producer of Newsmakers than providing a platform for the variety of perspectives and voices in metropolitan Cincinnati. As someone who grew up in northern Kentucky, I joined Channel 12 under Nick Clooney, who drilled into everyone the importance of covering northern Kentucky. I wanted to make sure Newsmakers challenged the simplistic pop cultural image that the region is split in two, east and west, rather than at least three principal parts. Northern Kentucky, after all, was the home of the Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, one of the region's chief economic drivers, and also the maturing NKU, with its focus on informatics and the innovative digitorium. I also wanted to give leaders from other overlooked communities like Hamilton, Ohio, a chance to tell their stories, the way Hamilton has used hydropower to rebuild its manufacturing base is a story that throws light on both environmental and economic issues. As a historian of American religious experience, I was particularly concerned about spotlighting developments in local Christian, Jewish, and Muslim communities. By inviting discussions of safe issues like the opening of the Smithsonian exhibit on the history of Cincinnati Judaism in Washington, D.C. in 1999, to the different ways that Christian denominations celebrate Christmas, or the reason the way and the ways that Muslims observe fasting during Ramadan allowed me to develop the contacts and trust to also cover controversial issues during tense moments. In 2002, Archbishop Daniel Pelargic agreed to an exclusive interview immediately after the American Catholic bishops voted on a response to the child sex abuse scandal at the Dallas conference in 2002. In 2009, a local Jewish and a local Muslim leader, one with relatives living in Israel, the other with relatives in Gaza, sat down together to talk about the difficult issues in the midst of the Gaza conflict. But nothing was more important or more challenging than the dealing with the issues around race and racism as they played out socially, economically, and politically over 20 years. From the very beginning, newsmakers featured segments on local African-American history and culture, especially given the development locally of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. Other segments focused on efforts to expand economic opportunity, to address the issues around local affordable housing, the resistance of certain grassroots leaders that threw up uh, obstacles against the migration of African Americans into historically white neighborhoods, and most importantly, the ongoing friction between the police and the African American community. All of that peaked in the spring of 2001 in the aftermath of the rioting that erupted after a Cincinnati police officer shot and killed Timothy Thomas. For months, newsmakers became an important forum for council members, the mayor, the police chief, FOP leaders, and multiple civic leaders, including the leaders of the Cincinnati Can Commission, to express their anger and analyze proposals to introduce reforms designed to stimulate new economic opportunities, improve the functioning of local courts, and especially to reform the Cincinnati Police Department. Police reform included changing the criteria for choosing the chief, tracking data about the police community interactions in traffic stops, adopting a community policing strategy under a federal consent decree, and creating citizen oversight of the department. The good thing about Newsmakers is that because it ran for over 20 years, when issues reverberated months or even years later, as is in the case of the UC police shooting of Samuel DuBose in 2015, connections could be made with earlier incidents and interviews. No one knows how the last 20 years of Cincinnati history will be interpreted in the future, but it is certain that the growing complexity of the community and the heightened racial tensions will be seen as critical components.